here we have prizes as well. I've got two prizes if you can if you can help me. Yeah. Okay, come on. So, I have a map of Europe here, and helpfully it doesn't have any names on it of the countries. So I need one person to tell me where is Denmark, and I want another person to tell me where is Ukraine. So these are some sticky, um, sticky notes, you can just put it on the map where it is. Okay. So I'll tell you, you'll like understand why we're talking about Denmark and about Ukraine. And, um, but I, first I want to know, what do you think of when you hear the country name Ukraine? So, can you get this at first line? Thank you. And the next one. If you hear Ukraine, are you thinking about Chernobyl? Happened um, just over 30 years ago? Or are you thinking of Flight MH17, a bit more recent? Or perhaps you're thinking about things that happened in Crimea in the last year or two or three. Or perhaps, um, are you thinking about, maybe have pictures of beautiful Orthodox churches in your mind. Well, um, another thing, if you go to the next slide, we also have um, really, really interesting books about uh, from the Soviet area. I can definitely recommend the two books. You see there, it's uh, stories about Christians being persecuted in the ex-Soviet Union. Really amazing books. Maybe you've read some of them. But I can tell you also that Ukraine is in fact a really beautiful country. There's a lot of... But Ukraine also has a sad side to it, apart from the things we've already seen. It's one of the ripest gospel areas or harvest fields in the world. That means it's an area that's ready for missionaries to go in and win people's hearts for Christ. Um, unfortunately, it's also a forgotten area. It's uh, a place where not maybe that many missionaries have been working. I think maybe now it's on the increase. Um, what, what I see with young people there as well is young people have no sense of um, being a person with a unique, unique identity and they don't have uh, hope for the future. Um, economic situations is very desperate and there's a lot of issues that young people have to deal with. Old people as well, of course. But my best new genes. And uh, people being traumatized at the moment and in the last few years by the war aggression in the east of Ukraine, in the Donetsk area and in that part. And you, you probably have heard all of this on the news as well. In fact, there have been millions of refugees who fled from the eastern parts to the center of Ukraine and to the western Ukraine and perhaps even to Poland. Um, and as we speak, Christians are being martyred and killed in, in those areas, in Ukraine and Russia. Um, I've been in touch with the organization. This organization is called Mature Bersonid. They have been working in Ukraine for many, many years now, probably over 15 years. They um, do very unique work, I think. So the one main thing that they do is they have a unique therapeutic course which they um, invite people to join in. This is a very intense course and what it does, it helps, it facilitates people towards a new Christ-like identity and it helps them to heal from their formative history. Um, so meaning it, it helps you to deal with things that has happened to you in the past, bad things. Um, it teaches them practical life skills um, that will result in mature behavior in the four basic relationships of your life. And it aims to establish uh, small and multiplying therapeutic kingdom of God societies so that we have a society where God is really known. Um, this course is an eight day training course and I, I do this in a, uh, in a, in a group, group sessions. Um, this is used to train pastors and missionaries and believers to minister as wounded healers. And it helps uh, young people to become disciples, um, disciples of Christ. So, what, why I'm here today is um, they are trying to raise funds for their work that they are doing in Ukraine. So this, this charity is um, based in South Africa. 
but I've been working in Ukraine and Egypt for many years. So what I'm doing today is I'm raising money for the work they're doing in Ukraine specifically. Um, the, the specific purpose is, um, is they have two ministry houses they run there, Bethany House and Nazareth House, and I think there are some pictures up there. Um, they've been working on these for many years, but they, they still need to finish some of the, especially of the interior work and uh, maintenance work. And they also, of course, need um, funds to help uh, their ministry work to continue there. They have a pastor there, um, at least one worker full time um, called Vadim. And I've met him many years ago. He has uh, he's got a lovely family as well. And even though he's from Ukraine, his children speak Afrikaans, which is my mother tongue from, uh, from South Africa. They picked it up pretty quickly when I visited South Africa many years ago. Um, right, so just to convince you that I'm, uh, I'm convinced about the work that Mature Person is doing in Ukraine, I have, uh, a couple of weeks ago I ran the Copenhagen Marathon. Um, and uh, just to, you know, torture myself. <laughs> Right, um, so uh, thank you very much for the time and we will have a little cake saddle which my lovely wife Martina has made some cakes. So please um, come to the back afterwards and um, give us as much as you are able to. So the two guys here, they have been doing very well. I thought nobody would find Ukraine but this is perfectly correct. And um, Denmark, oh it's a bit... A really small country, but uh, that's actually the right place as well.